look at this tablet here metoprolol succinate prolonged release tablet 25 mg so this is metoprolol it has some metoprolol succinate which is equivalent to metoprolol tartrate which they say 25 mg so basically this is a beta 1 blocker beta 1 that is cardio selective beta adrenergic blocker so where will you use this first look at the classification so here you go metoprolol is here beta 1 blocker this is that is it is cardio selective beta working on the heart only metoprolol beta 1 blocker this is a beta adrenergic blocking drug so it will block only the beta 1 receptors metoprolol is here and it is a second generation drug okay if you want to know it is just a second generation drug where exactly do you use this this you will use for uh, uh, basically reducing your heart rate reducing your blood pressure right so it will be used to prevent arrhythmias of heart are used to treat arrhythmia hypertension and what else angina yes so basically if it is beta 1 blocking and not much on beta 2 that means to say it works on heart not much on the bronco uh, uh, bronchus etc so it can be used by people who have asthma right copd patients also but you have to use it with caution okay in these people not that it will not at all work on beta 2 it is more on beta 1 remember let's look at the tablet inside it's a good packing it's quite a task to take this out and it comes out like this and here you have 25 mg of metoprolol it's written 25 on it which is very nice right uses of metoprolol they are saying is for hypertension angina chf that is congestive heart failure is it but you have to remember it is also used to treat arrhythmias okay even in myocardial infarction they are giving this but there should be no bradycardia remember there should be no bradycardia because if, if this is actually going to reduce the heart rate isn't it there is something to do with this s minus metoprolol see active enantiomer that is what is written on this tablet also right see S minus metoprolol tartarate. Yeah, some that only when you are giving this, then only half the dose is required, it seems, as the race mate. Okay. Okay. So, um, anxiety and all, right? They sometimes give metoprolol, right? But I just wanted to know how metoprolol is better than propranolol. Metoprolol is cardio selective, right? Okay. And uh, it's almost the same only. I don't see much difference between propranolol and uh, metoprolol. But the only thing is metoprolol uh, does better when uh, people have some cold hands and feet after giving propranolol. Like Reynolds phenomena if people have, metoprolol is better for that. Okay, And it is cardio selective. So that asthma people etc are a little safer, little safer. In many conditions where there is tachycardia, right, they can prescribe this, okay, but I am seeing propranol is preferred. The only thing I didn't tell you is this taste, right, its taste is very bitter, I mean, very something, it's not nice, okay. Anyways, you don't have to deal with it, you just have to swallow it. Bye-bye, bye metoprolol, bye metoprolol.